endurance exercise needs to be part of every single exercise program that you do. And it complements the strength training because it burns fat, obviously, but it also helps decrease chronic pain. It lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol, and it also can decrease stress, much like resistance training does. Now remember though, it is no substitute for doing a strengthening program. It supplements it. And what we're gonna do with Anne real quickly is we're gonna turn the treadmill on. She's on the treadmill. If you don't have access to a treadmill, you can go ahead and increase it. If you don't have access to a treadmill, there is a sidewalk outside your house, I hope, and the same principles apply. You don't have to learn how to walk necessarily unless you're less than a year old. But she's just gonna walk like she regularly does. She doesn't use a walker, so she's not gonna be holding on to this. That doesn't make any sense. If you do feel unstable, it's no problem. You can hold on with one hand, but you wanna to get to the point where you're actually just walking as you regularly would, just out on the, uh, on the sidewalk with, with a friend. Um, how hard do you feel like you're working right now? Not too hard. The scale of zero to 10? Uh, about a three. So that's not very hard at all. We wanna get her to the point where she feels like she can talk, but not sing. I don't know if I really wanna hear you sing anyway, do I? Yeah. No. So. I'm going to make her speed about three. And if you have a treadmill at home, great. If you don't, no problem either. I'll talk about how to do that in a second. I'm going to increase the incline. So this is going to be going up and up. So now she's walking up a hill. And I'm at seven. Now I'm at eight. And now I'm at nine. And let's make it ten. And we're going to give it just a couple seconds. If you don't have a treadmill at home, you're gonna to have to rely on walking faster, maybe even finding some hills, but you wanna make it so that you get to the point where you're really starting to breathe heavily and where you make it so you feel like you really, you couldn't sing if you wanted to. How hard are you working now? Maybe about a five. Okay, she's at a five. I'm gonna increase the speed a little. <laughs> and now she's working. She's at 10% incline, so that's quite a hill. Don't trip and fall. Uh, <laughs> and at three and a half speed, how, how hard are you working? More like a six step. So this is about where she needs to be, and, and she's only at two minutes, which means we probably need to back it down. So I'm gonna decrease the incline some, is that okay? <laughs> I'm gonna decrease it to about five. And you wanna choose an intensity that allows you to go for at least 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, and it's okay to start at five minutes at 10 minutes and work up, but that's a goal. How hard do you feel like you're working now? Uh, about a five. And notice she's not slouching. The intensity is about a five out of 10, which is very good. That's moderately hard. And that's about where you wanna be. You really don't have to rely on heart rate much at all. The perceived exertion, that scale of zero to 10, is more than adequate. Unless you've been coming out of cardiac rehab and your doctor has a specific heart rate that, you don't, that he doesn't want you to uh, get above. Or if you're pregnant, you don't wanna exert more than about 140 beats per minute. Otherwise, just use the exertion scale. It really works. Good job.